You know, I've been carrying the same stuff in my pockets for the last year. So I always have a have a Hank handkerchief in my back pocket. I've been carrying the KH Leather Bulldog Wallet, a Northfield, well, actually, Great Eastern Cutlery, Northfield Knife, Fisher Space Pen. Basically the same stuff for an entire year, but things get stale. And sometimes as the seasons change from the colder weather to the warmer weather, I like to just change it up a little bit. So not that I'm necessarily changing from something worse to something better. More accurately, I'm changing from something old to something new. And it might be better, it might be worse. After carrying it for a little while, I'll figure it out. The first thing is the wallet. Now this Bulldog wallet was one of my first collaborations ever. And this example is one of my absolute favorite versions of that. Stitching replaced the original rivets and it's molded perfectly to my knife and my pen. This is being replaced, however, by the Craft & Lore Port Wallet, which is very, very popular. And it's a design that's been around for a long time, but its simplistic elegance is what's so appealing. For a long time, I preferred to just carry a card sleeve rather than a full bifold or trifold wallet. It was just easier to carry and it didn't cause any strange pocket bulges. I mean, honestly, I already get enough comments about the banana that I keep in my front pocket. Made from American vegetable tanned full grain leather, this wallet will look drastically different than it does right now in a year. Nothing ages like natural veg tan leather and it's one of my favorite leathers of all time. And for just 55 bucks, this thing's a slam dunk if you're like me and only carry a few cards and maybe some cash. My Great Eastern Cutlery Knife is a beauty and I love it. It's something I hope to pass down to my son one day, but I don't like having it loose and clanging around in my pocket, so I changed it to something a little bit different. The Buck Trunk. Now this is a little cleaver-based EDC knife, which is the first I've carried of this type. I've had plenty of Tonto blades, but I never owned a cleaver, and it's pretty interesting in usage. 90% of my EDC tasks are simple slicing and cutting, not necessarily stabbing or food prep. So this little blade works perfectly, and with G10 handles and a 7CR stainless steel blade, it actually reminds me a lot of my old Spyderco Tenacious. Thanks to those little steel liners, this little blade feels a lot more substantial than its size would suggest. It's a liner lock design with ambidextrous thumb studs and a flipper on the back, and it carries nice and deep in the pocket. At 27 bucks, it's an excellent value. My old iPhone 11 Pro Plus Max special whatever case still carries over from Nomad. Now this is the Horween case that I put on about a year ago and the leather has held up extremely well considering the amount of handling and usage. It's a little bit worn at the edges as you would expect, but beyond that, it's still the best case that I've ever used. This phone is safe in its plastic shell and I occasionally take it out for a little bit of cleaning, but that's it. It just gets out of the way, protects my phone and lets me do my own thing. A couple of the other items that carry over are my Oris Aquas green watch, which a lot of people recognize from this channel. And you know, this was a watch that I remember seeing and wanting, ordering, and then just having that itch scratched as I've discussed before. This watch to me could be very well the last watch that I own and I'd be very happy. It always works. It needs a little bit of winding and sometimes you have to adjust the time or whatever. But to be honest with you, most of us check our time on our phones anyway. I wear this because I like it, because I like the way it looks, because I like the substantial feel. I like the rubber uh, strap. And you know, what's interesting about that rubber strap on the Oris watches is that it's vanilla scented. So you get the scent of vanilla in the beginning. Now that's sort of worn away and the case has gotten some scratches on it. The Sapphire Crystal is still as clear as ever, but I love this watch. The only reason I would replace it if there was something else that got me in the same way, but I've yet to find it. This is not the most expensive watch that I've bought before, but it's the one that I wear all the time. Speaking of jewelry, I've been wearing my wedding ring for a long time, and actually I've changed it up a couple of times. I originally had a Damascus steel uh, wedding ring. I lost that. And then I had a Tiffany, uh, I think it was called the Metropolitan, and it was a pretty cool looking ring that looked like a ball bearing. I lost that. So now I've been using the one that I had made by Todd the Maker as my wedding ring. And it's been great. And now since I have a lot of other silver rings, I tend to wear one on the other hand as well. So I'll swap that out depending on where I am, what I'm doing. Sometimes wearing no rings at all, especially if I'm working at home or on the car. But a lot of times I like to rock another silver ring on my right hand. Again, it's just fun to look at. I enjoy it. What the hell? Why not? 
The Fisher Space Pen needs no introduction. Everybody has one of these things. They're amazing. They're incredibly reliable and handy. They're something that you could put in your pocket or tuck onto the side of your pocket, you know, on the outside with the clip, whatever you want. And it's always there at a moment's notice. I use this thing almost daily, even when I don't think I'm going to need a pen. You need to sign a receipt. You need to write somebody a tip. Whatever it is, you have a pen with you. And this thing has never let me down. I've carried it for years now. Never changed out the 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 refill, but it just works. And it's getting some scratches. It's starting to show that inner brass shell, which I love. The other thing that I haven't felt a need to change is these have a Hank handkerchiefs. They're made in the USA. They're cotton. They get better the more times you wash them because they soften up and actually become more absorbent. These are something that come in handy all the time, whether it's because I cut myself again with something and I need to stop the bleeding or I need a head covering because I didn't realize I would be outside. Having no hair on your head, it really does kind of suck in the summertime. So being able to put this on the top of your head, it, it really does help. So there's a million uses for a handkerchief and you don't feel it when you put it into your pocket. Why wouldn't somebody carry one of these around? So at this point, I probably have a dozen that I just sort of swap in and out. If they get dirty, then I wash them. That's it. They've never failed me and they always come in handy. But beyond that, guys, that's it. When I leave for the day, those are the things that I grab. Of course, keys and all that kind of thing, of course, but really that's about it. And it's funny because I watch these EDC videos and, and I see people who have, you know, like little spinners and, you know, a compass and all this stuff. And I'm like, how in the world can you fit that in your pockets? Now, one thing that I, I gotta say is that little buck trunk has been great, but I still miss carrying my um, Leatherman P2. That thing has everything in it. And there have been a, to a few times where I know I'm working around the house or I've been going off to the job and I'll leave the trunk at home and I'll bring the P2 with me. So sometimes you swap out and, and that's how you kind of learn, you know? We're all just sort of refining our kit and what we're gonna carry on an everyday basis. That's gonna change depending on where you are, where you're going, what you're gonna be doing. And that's what's so interesting. When you look at somebody's EDC, it really does give you an insight into that time in their life. So this is mine for right now, which is spring, summer, 2021. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you next time.